MTN Sports, Grace Lawrence here at Bobcat Stadium, where number six ranked Montana State bounced back from their week nine loss against Idaho. They stamped a 45 to 21 win over NAU back at home, and their run game looked as dominant as ever. Just under 350 yards for Montana State on the ground, which started its command the first drive, capped off with a nine yard rushing touchdown from Tommy Malott. Let's just get a first down. I think that was the biggest thing. However, we did it uh, just to move the chains and, you know, have a, a, a positive beginning to the game. Um, set the tone, however you want to look at it. Both Malott and Sean Chambers had a rushing touchdown, but the throw game showed its flash as well, highlighted by Bozeman's own Ryan Lonergan's first career touchdown. For Montana State, the tight end, who stepped in for an injured Derek Snell, connected on the 20-yard reception with Malott. Yeah, I can't put it in words. That was awesome. That was a great experience. I felt definitely more comfortable out there today than I, I did the previous game with Snell being down. You got to trust your training. got to trust what you what you're film study and just go out and play what you've been, the sport you've been playing for however many years. He's continued to gain um, experience being that, that third guy, now the second guy, and then, you know, as it turned out today for much of that game, he was he was the top guy. And then Ryan's uh, you know, been around here a long time. He's, uh, he's got all the, all the tools and, you know, he was able to flash a few of them today catching that football. The team has been able to show resilience the entirety of Vegan's tenure. They've never lost two consecutive games under his leadership. We still got something to prove, you know. So this week, the defense, we took steps like we were we were watching film a lot and we usually take tests before games and and throughout the past three years. And I say, I'll probably say that, too. We try to make like a mantra, like a saying, like we don't lose at home. Try to do better than the last time, I guess, but, but more just be concerned about what can we do um, on this particular Saturday to put our best foot forward. And I think we did that from the start. Obviously, they made a few plays here and there, but um, really, by and large, did the things we wanted to. As the regular season nears its end, Senior Day is up next. Price put into words how much this moment and this fan base means to him, someone who's battled injury this season and only has a limited amount of games left as a Bobcat. It felt good being back on the field, in front of, especially in front of the Bobcat fans. You know, it was just exciting because, you know, I'm a senior, only got a couple more games left in Bobcat Stadium. So I kind of took it, like, took it a ball, you know. I almost cried because it's, it's almost... It's almost time. <laughs> Their final regular season game at home is against Eastern Washington and kicks off at 1 p.m. this Saturday in Bobcat Stadium. In Bozeman, Grace Lawrence, MTN Sports.